I'm Joyce Ortner and I'm going to teach you to paint the perfect wave. The secret is to know just a few basic things and strangely enough the most important and the most basic is a black line. Okay, you'll see what I mean. We're going to paint the perfect wave. I'm going to start with a really dark, dark black color and I'm going to make a, a black line at an angle. And believe it or not, this is one of the very, very most important things in painting the perfect wave. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit about how water works and some brush strokes because that's the things you need to know. Um, what happens is the water is being pulled this way and it goes up and it goes up and when it gets as high as it can, it falls but it's being pushed by the water, the force of the ocean, back here. So that's the reason for these brush strokes. It's over and straight. Over and straight. Over and straight. Over and straight. So that's a real key thing. The other thing is that here's how the wave goes out. You never want this part to be up higher than this because remember, the water's coming here, comes up as high as it can, and then it falls over. So there's no way you're going to get this big hump up here. So it's over and straight, over and straight, over and straight, over and straight. So this is the face of our wave. This is the baseline of our wave. This is your foreground water. And so now we're going to make it look like a wave. I want my water to be green so I've just got some green and I'm going to fill all this area in with green. This is just ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow mixed to make green. And I'll just fill the whole face of the wave. If you're going to paint a subject, learn some of the vocabulary simple. This is the face of the wave. It's going to be green. This is your breaker. It's, what, it's the water after the water breaks. I'm going to go back and put more dark in that baseline. Remember I said that was so important? And that dark, this darkness stays up part of the face of the wave. Now we know we want a transparent area in our wave, and so we're going to put some yellow and white, and we're going to make an oval shape at the very top of our wave. And we're going to blend it. Now you don't want a hole in your water. It's just a glow. It's just a glow. And you can do this part several times till you get as much light coming through the wave as you want. But remember, it just wants to be a glow. So I'm blending it and blending it and making it so it just glows through there. All right, now I'm going to do the foam burst. So you know the water's coming up, comes over as far as it can, then it's going to come down here and it's going to hit the beach. So that's the reason for this diagonal in my stroke. It's hitting the beach and it's bouncing up right exactly the same way that it came in. Now, you're doing foam burst, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to pick up a bunch of white. Uh-uh. You want a dark color. And so I use violet. It's just a uh, lizard crimson and some um, phthalo blue and white. And then I'll, this is the violet again, just to make this water rushing over the breaker, the same the same diagonal stroke. So I've actually got 
pretty much a perfect wave, but I want to make it really beautiful. So I will take some light color. And this is white with a little yellow in it to make it warm. And I'm just going to highlight that foam burst with it. I'm going to highlight the foam burst again. And again. Takes lots of paper towels to make a perfect wave. Okay, more highlight. And I'll actually want to um, highlight the breaker itself. Right, now we need some foam that's going to come up on the face of that wave a little. So we'll just take our violet down here. Right under our wave. And let it come back up. And then we'll just swoop it up right over that baseline. Alright, that's a perfect crashing wave. You can do it too.